Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna take a look at something new, something in a plugin format or a standalone a format that you can use on your computer, and that's the new Line 6 Metallurgy Collection. There's a lot to go through, so sit back and enjoy, and I'm gonna tell you everything about this Metallurgy Collection. If you found this content helpful, please take a moment to subscribe and like this video because it really helps. Okay, I'm gonna quickly run you through all the different packs, the Doom, the modern and the trash and after that i'm gonna focus on one of the amps or just one of the models so we can see what kind of tones can i get out of this i'm not a metal player i do listen to a lot of metal and i do sometimes play a metal riff on this guitar but i don't consider myself to be a metal player the user interface inside all three packs is quite similar and so let's start with the pre-fx section you can see that we have four different pedals. We have the Bighorn Fuzz, we have the Ranger Fuzz, we have the Vital Distortion, and we have the Pebble Phase Shifter. Also, what I noticed first is that the interface uh, looks really, really pretty. And I mean pretty. The knobs are really uh, photorealistic, if that's the word. And I think that this whole thing with the cables looks really, really sweet. Inside the amp section, you have four different amps to choose from. So it's not only the Moon amplifier that you saw first. You also have the Mandarin Rocker, the Doom, and the Mail Order Twin. It's worth noting that the amps model inside this metallurgy collection are uh, actually made as they are in real life, meaning they have channels, so they are not split like they are inside the other Line 6 products like the Podgo or the uh, Helix. That means that this Moon Amp has the Brit and the normal channel, which you can of course switch between two or just make the both active. Mandarin Rocker has only one channel, the Doom also has only one channel, and the Mail Order Twin also has one channel. Next is the Cabinet section, and this one looks uh, really exciting, to be honest. Uh, first of all, you have the option to choose from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different cabinets. I won't read the names, you can see them on screen, but uh, I'd say that this is a pretty good selection uh, for a pack called Doom. As you can see, there are two different microphones on this cabinet, and of course you can uh, very much manipulate where they are located. You can make them closer to the cabinet, you can make them go uh, further away, and you can also change the microphone that is used. Let's say do we want to keep that uh, condenser 47 on the left, and uh, let's add a 57 dynamic on the right. So it's really easy to combine microphones and to combine sounds uh, with this thing. Another thing that is very, very exciting is this uh, room mic's uh, knob or a fader. And with this one, you can control the room level sound, which is when it comes to the realism part of plugins or processors, uh, I think a must. Now quickly, the other faders, of course, control the level of the two microphones that you are blending. And this thing on the right is actually a full-blown channel strip. You have the high-pass filter, low-pass filter. You have four different bands, high mids and low mids. The two middle bands have a fixed Q value, uh, all of them do actually, which means that you cannot change the width or the narrowness if that's even a word of the boost or a cut that you're making with this EQ, but that uh, really isn't such a big deal. And the low and the high mid bands can act as a bell boost or a high shell boost if you click this icon. Uh, same goes for the low band. It can be a low shelf if you decide to make it, or it can be a bell shaped boost or cut. And finally, we come to the post effects section and it's worth noting that this section is different uh, for all three packs that come within this collection. 
Okay, that actually took quite a lot of time. Now I'm gonna just show you what do the modern and the trash uh, packs contain. Inside the pre-FX section of the modern pack, you have the Rochester Comp, the Minotaur, and the Caliper Drive. Inside the M section, you again have four different choices. Vitriol, which is, I believe, a PV amp. The second one is the Padank. The third amp is the Rev Generator 120, and you have the purple channel and the red channel. The fourth amp is the Archetype, which is the PRS Archon. You also have the two channels, the lead and the clean. It is worth noting that the three packs come with slightly different cabinet selections, so you can see what you have inside the modern pack. There is also eight of them, like we have inside the Doom pack. But all of the other controls and the microphones remain the same. And in the final section of the modern pack, we have the mod echo chorus and the dynamic hall as a reverb. So this looks really fun. Now we are moving on to the trash pack. In the pre effects section, the first thing you'll see is a wah pedal. The second one is a pillars uh, overdrive pedal. And the final thing is the stupor OD, which is the boss overdrive pedal. Inside the amp section, again, we have four amps to choose from. One is the Cali 4, and again, you have two channels, Rhythm and Elite. You also have the Rivet Clean, which is the Roland JC120. You have the Das Benzene, which is the whatever amp. And we also have the Placator Dirty, which is the dirty channel of the Friedman B100 and this looks really really pretty and it has all the knobs up on front the fat switch the C45 switch HBE and saturation and this amp is a tone monster and I'm very happy to see this pack that contains a placator dirty and a rivet clean which is probably looking like the most useful pack of them all Moving on to the cabinet section, again, there are slightly different cabinets inside the trash collection. Again, there are eight of them. And finally, in the post effects section, we have the ADT and the vintage delay. Uh, ADT is technically an automatic doubler thing. <laughs> anyway, it's a double tracking utility tool and a very cool vintage delay which is one of my top three favorites inside the Lines Podgo. One of the most exciting features included inside the Metallurgy collection uh, is this capo feature. And this is a polyphonic pitch shifter that's built inside these plugins. And you can drop your guitar by five semitones and you can also uh, bring up the tuning of your guitar by five semitones. So, there's an easy E flat right there if you set the interval to minus one, so this is absolutely great. The two other absolutely amazing features are located inside the cabinet section. One of them is the ability to angle the microphone that's going onto the cabinet. So you can angle the microphone by 45 degrees if you wish so. Let's say that you want to angle this ribbon 160 by 45 degrees. All you have to do is click the 45 degrees button and boom, your microphone is now angled. I think this is a huge thing that everyone that gets this pack should immediately explore and see how well do these uh, options, the off-axis microphone placement options combine with the other uh, microphone. And you can rest assured that you will find some great tones by uh, doing this, by placing the microphone uh, a bit off-axis. And finally, the greatest feature of them all is probably, and I still haven't heard a single note from this pack, and I'm already calling it, is the room microphone level. There are also some other things you can do inside this. You can invert phase in multiple places. You can apply filtering in multiple places. Also, every pack inside this metallurgy collection has uh, a few things that you see up on top. I've already told you about the first one, you have the polyphonic pitch shifter, you have the noise reduction, which is of course your gate, and you have something called dynamic low pass filter, which is technically controlling the high end of your tone, and it's not supposed to be a gate, but it's probably gonna sound a gate to a few people because it kinda gets rid of the top end nastiness or fizziness or whatever. 
Of course, that gate has a threshold control and a decay control, and there's this thing called the focus filter, which I believe places a side chain uh, inside this cabinet section, which will kind of help you eliminate uh, some of the boominess uh, of the low end that you can experience, and this control goes to 400 hertz. And of course, there's a tuner that we're gonna test right now, just to stop talking. I cannot talk anymore. So this is the default preset that you'll get when you load the trash collection, the trash pack. And this being a metal pack, I'm gonna switch to my humbucker just for fun. <laughs> I just want to check the sound change uh, once we switch this 45 uh, angle button off. <laughs> Honestly, this does what I expected it to do and it's absolutely great and this is a great feature to have uh, inside any type of digital processor, software or whatever. Okay, the next feature uh, is this room mics control. Let's bring it all the way down to 60. Oh no, we can actually mute it completely. So let's mute the room. <laughs> So that is dry as bones. Now let's unmute the room and let's bring up the level to minus 32 to start with and I'll slowly bring it up. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. The control you have with the fader of the room mics is great. <laughs> yeah, this feature sounds absolutely great. And it kind of explains why they didn't include uh, a dedicated reverb block in the post effects. Of course, you can add multiple layers with this and I'm just gonna press the ADT to see what happens. So this is without the ADT. <laughs> Okay, to the folks that listen to this on their mobile phones, you probably perceived a huge uh, 
level or volume drop, but that will usually happen with uh, different stereo plugins and ADT is certainly one of them, but it certainly does sound like a pretty cool double tracking effect. <laughs> And finally, let's just click this vintage digital delay. Yeah, obviously, people that play metal will have a major, major blast with these. Obviously, uh, just with these default settings and a few tweaks I did to the cabinet with the EQ. And with technically no pedals engaged, I'm getting a pretty sick uh, all-around rhythm and lead tone. So yeah, I guess the Cali 4 sounds great. Uh, of course, I want to try the other amps inside this trash pack, especially the Placator Dirty and the uh, Roland JC120, which will probably produce some amazing clean sounds. So stay tuned. Uh, I guess I'll be exploring the Metallurgy collection. I have 14 days remaining in trial, so I guess I have two weeks to explore. I'll see you all soon. Adios.